Hey guys, what's up? Gasp here for another quick tip using the motion node and in this video we are going to do a quick visual exploration using the sign type of motion. So uh, what it's uh, this kind of movement, sign. So do you remember the math classes? Sign is a curve that describes a smooth repetition oscillation and it's continuous and has each like like any other wave has its own amplitude and frequency so the amplitude it's the wave's height and the frequency it's the number of oscillations per uh, period of time so uh, this is kind of the the extra movement that it, you're going to to add to your particles so uh, Let's go to the example here, and uh, I set the emitter to uh, 50 particles per second and increase it the speed about 200. And at the motion, we can set the type to sign. Uh, like to to see this example better, let's create a kind of a line here. So. I'm going to add the auxiliary and also a particle and let's change some properties here uh, in the auxiliary let's set the speed to zero and the particles maybe just increase the lifetime and this is going to be my line so I'm going to rename it and set the auxiliary to particle here now we can get some lines uh, and we can change size here cool so uh, let's see the result here using the motion node uh, the standard it's to have the motion type angle uh, and as I said First, we have the amplitude of the, the wave here, so you can increase. And if we can change the frequency, you can get some cool results here. And also we can add a little bit of randomness here using the amplitude. And also uh, at the angle, we can set the angle for the extra movement. Uh, one cool uh, thinkery that I'm just I was just exploring this kind of uh, the, using the motion node so uh, we can set maybe the angle here this kind of things and we also can change the motion type to point so it's going just to you have the the sine wave but uh, it's kind of that the particles are going back here but also we can change the origin type to particle origin let's set motion type to angle so it's kind of getting con uh, continuous movement here maybe if you could set the auxiliary lines just to inherit here and maybe we can set a different color pattern for the line so we can can get better maybe we could increase the particles here maybe 25 so uh, you can add some post work and try to think, tinker a little bit. So uh, I prepared this kind of result that I got using the. Let's check like a more like a breakdown here, so you can see what I changed here. Uh, so uh, I create first first. Uh, just a background with particles. I don't know. Let's 
maybe click twice here see what's going on oh this is just my background sorry uh, here's my the particles background so I created a cool background with some particles uh, I put the sphere type at the emitter change the particles per second and also increase it a lot here at the size and the main particle we got some cool results here so uh, first of all I created the emitter the particle and after that put the auxiliary node to get these lines as you can see here uh, and after that uh, I added another auxiliary node uh, just to have some extra particles and added the sine wave using emitter origin and angle and also just increase it a little bit more of the frequency here and if you just set to zero you can get also cool results here uh, and I just uh, put the sine motion just for the these particles I, I could also add a little bit more randomness here just putting this movement to the line so it's up to you and after that just added some uh, some effects as glow uh, just to, to get a more saturated background using a gradient ramp and also in the color dodge mode add some vignette to put attention just more in the center added more contrast using curves and also optics compensation to be more distorted here at the at the edges and also a little bit of noise that's the result of my exploration using the motion node uh, if you create something cool with the stardust just let me know put in the comments or send me the link hope you like it that's it guys thank you so much and have a good one